Hello everyone, Dark Kirby14 here. Welcome to more Crash Bandicoot Warped. So we are going to the next warp room. I was like lost for a minute. I was like, we are Finxinator. That sounds like a straightforward title. No, wait, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if there was anything. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't remember if there's anything special this way. Oh, this is just like another alternate route you gotta do or something. Yeah. I don't remember this route. Uh, um, a little farther. Hmm. Uh, it's a pile of lives. Okay, jump on it. Okay, jump on it. Pile of lives. Was I supposed to click that? Uh, okay. I'm trying to time this right. Duh, oh, I should have spinned. Tch. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, so it's like, oh, I did click it. Might well, spun it, but you got the idea. Touched it. I think it was important. Don't! Hmm. Forgot to spin. Although I think a kick would have been just as effective. Huh. Uh. So we have a double jump. Do that's uh, do again. I think I got crashed before. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm such a dumb dumb. There goes those four lives I got. <laughs> there they all went. Cause I'm a dumb dumb. Try this again. I want to grab one, grab that, one, all that. <laughs> I thought that was a dead one. No, that's a gem round. Dum dum. I'm a dum dum. Time for gum gum. Dum dum. Keep me gum gum. Dum dum. Like, I think that's um, like, like I said this before, and like, I think John Tron's an uber nitpicker. 
because the reason I say that he's an uber nitpicker is he kind of nitpicks about Star Fox Adventures. It was a good idea. I like it. It's just... I mean, I can understand him nitpicking about butt nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts are awful. But it's not like nuts and bolts. It's not like that. But nuts and bolts got bad reviews. Star Fox Adventures didn't. It wasn't like it wasn't like that to both, Scott. It's not the same situation. It's like it's not the same. I mean, nuts and bolts got bad reviews. Star Fox Adventures didn't, and it really gets me. It really gets me going to see him nitpick about that game. I like that game personally. It's something different. It's something fun. It's something unique. It is something new to the game, like, to, to that particular game series that there really hasn't been tried before. I'm sure, yeah, it was another game at some point. Nintendo just like, <laughs> Star Fox. <laughs> but seriously, John Tron just ultra nitpicks at times, and it really gets frustrating to watch him do it. It's like, I understand some of the things he's saying, but dude, you're nitpicking. It's like, I don't know what it is, like... It's like trying to justify a third brand cereal or something. <laughs> uh, oh me. I was trying to justify it's like your mom trying to justify why she got like the off off brand cereal. It's like no. <laughs> That's kinda what it's like. It's kinda like that. I guess like just trying to justify that. It's like no, you don't you don't do that. Like you don't you don't do that. You don't. <sighs> it's like I don't I don't understand him sometimes. And it just it gets really annoying. It's just like, dude, stop making yourself sound like a teen girl right now. And it gets really annoying to watch. It's just and it's really frustrating to watch him do it. It's just, dude, stop. Like, it's not the same, like, when he does it. It's like, it's like, it's not even close to the same. It's not remotely close. Like, he's nitpicking for all the wrong reasons. Like, there are legitimate reasons as to why you could nitpick, but not at Star Fox Adventures. When it got good, you want to nitpick it about Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, that's fine because that game didn't get favorable reviews. Whereas Star Fox Adventures did get favorable reviews. It's just, he gets very, very snippy about it. It gets very, very annoying to watch his channel sometimes. Let me, I want to make sure, I almost know that that game got bad reviews. Um, I almost know for a fact that game got bad reviews. <sighs> like, it was like... Uh, I thought it got worse reviews. It got, it got okay reviews. Still a lot of Banjo Kazooie games. <laughs> That's probably what his problem with it is. I, I can I can slightly understand that, but at the same time, it's like no, just stop being a little bit of a five star bitch. <laughs> being a little bit. It gets very like I said before. It gets very annoying to watch it. He doesn't stop. It's like, dude, enough. We get it. You don't like the game. I thought it got worse. It got an 8.3. I thought it got worse than that, to be honest with you. I guess, I guess the game's not everybody. everybody's cup of tea. But, like, I guess I'll try. I mean, I mean I'm up for anything once. I'm not gonna lie, I'm up for anything once. No, I'll do. I'll try anything orange. Man. I mean, may, may as well.
Yeah, it is anyway. It's like, yeah. Alright. So we're just gonna have to like, yeah, it's fine. It's just, yeah. Alright, so with that, this has been Dark Kirby 14. And we'll see you next time on Crash Bandicoot Warped.